morning, one of the most influential newspapers in the nation, the New York Times, calling for President Biden to leave the race after Thursday's debate performance. The editorial board wrote this, quote, there are Democratic leaders better equipped to present clear, compelling, and energetic alternatives to a second Trump presidency. There is no reason for the party to risk the stability and security of the country by forcing voters to choose between Mr. Trump's deficiencies and those of Mr. Biden. Well, the campaign responded swiftly. Co-chair Cedric Richmond releasing a brief statement of his own. It said this, the last time Joe Biden lost the New York Times editorial board's endorsement, it turned out pretty well for him, end quote. That, of course, was back in the 2020 primary, but he did get their endorsement during the general election. News Nation campaign reporter Jackie Coppell has been on the road with the president's campaign since the debate. Great to see you, Jackie. So obviously an important rally for President Biden yesterday. Talk to us about what happened on the ground. What's the vibe 24 hours, 36 hours after Thursday's debate? Well, the campaign is definitely trying to change the narrative, mm -hmm. certainly, right? The rally yesterday, over 2,000 people. I've been speaking with Democratic voters to see what they have to say. And the general gist is basically they're disappointed in the performance, but they really like his policies. Uh, the campaign actually sent out a memo highlighting, they say, 50 of Trump's lies. So really focusing on the messaging they want to have come across. And, of course, Biden really trying to address, look, I'm an older guy, yes, but I can still do the job. Now, yesterday he was at an event at Stonewall commemorating the national uh, monument that is down there for the LGBTQ community. He spoke, Elton John was there. So cool. The energy apparently in the room was really high, and I spoke with some voters just about what, what it was like to be there with the president. Let's take a listen. Fantastic. Fantastic. Yes, he is so nice with everybody, and he really uh, he supports this uh, pride movement, so it's really nice. He spoke so highly of all of us, and so proud of being here, and I can't tell you how proud I am of his. His, I can't believe he's here. First of all. So as you can see, it was really meaningful to yeah. folks that he showed up. Like I said, people said he was energized. It was a different President Biden from the one that showed up on Thursday, the one people were hoping would show up, especially to target those independent voters, because this election will, of course, be won on the margins. Well, and the president's certainly not hiding this weekend, to your point. What else is he doing? Well, he has two fundraisers in the Hamptons today, wow. and then later this evening in Red Bank, New Jersey, another fundraiser. The campaign also released that in on the debate day, they raised $14 million, and they had their best round of fundraising in the hour after the debate, the 11 to 12 p.m. hour, interestingly. Yeah. There will also be 1,500 events for the campaign around the country, focusing on battleground states. And, of course, Stacey Abrams had a presser yesterday in Georgia as, you know, as a surrogate. So surrogates are also really trying to change the narrative, focusing on Trump and the sort of threat they feel he is to democracy. Yeah, the issue is millions saw a debate show and a few thousand are seeing rally Joe, but we'll see if he gets that message across. Jackie Coppell, thank you so much. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.